Hello, it's Patrick, and welcome to some electric vehicle news. I had the opportunity to boogie down and check out CES 2023, and it was pretty interesting. A lot, a lot of electric vehicles, a lot of charging infrastructure, some pretty cool stuff. Having a company that does charging, Wild West EV, I was very interested to see what the new technologies were. And check this thing out. This is a massive charger. It'd be interesting to see how Tesla handles this because they're saying that their standard, the North America charging standard, can also do one megawatt charging through the same connector. But I think the semis still have a different connector right now. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but look at the pins on this thing. It's just massive. It's, it's huge. I mean, obviously, this is for trucks like big trucks that this newer battery voltage and charging up to a megawatt is going to be available for the cyber truck it'll be interesting to see what kind of connector it is it, it has to be the regular tesla connector right or are they going to have it be like a compatible one so like it can use the smaller one or it has a bigger opening and bigger adjustable fittings for a megawatt or if they really just can use the existing connector let me know what you guys think because i thought that was crazy lots of exposure for tesla the the boring company elon's little pet project racing a snail to dig tunnels it was really cool like i always thought it'd be kind of neat and the explanation of it seemed pretty good but a lot of people are arguing like why don't you just do mass transit like Buses, subways make a lot more sense. You could move a lot more people. So I had an unlimited pass on the monorail and I went to my hotel back and forth. And they arrive every five minutes, supposedly, but it always seemed like I was waiting eight, at minimum five minutes. I don't know. Whatever the reason, it just seemed like it took a long time to get there. And then a long time for everybody to load up. And then a long time for it to actually move from one part of the convention center to the other. Because if you're not familiar with CES, it's the largest convention in the world. It spans a dozen casino convention centers <laughs> throughout Las Vegas. And the Las Vegas Convention Center alone now has, I think, like four or five different halls or more. Then, and so the Boring Company has tunnels that link between the different t uh, sections of the CES Convention Center. It's really neat. You just kind of go down the escalator... And you literally walk right up to a Tesla and get in. There's like virtually no waiting. They were saying the wait time right now is 30 seconds. So it's like pretty much the time it takes just to walk to the Tesla. And I haven't seen the numbers yet, but it's usually over 100,000 people at CES. And these things are moving people. They have about 100 Teslas in the fleet. Not all of them are on site. The highest numbers I saw were around 80 something because they're all numbered. And one of the drivers was saying it only operates during convention center times. So it's just kind of part-time gig. And they are planning on doing full self-driving through the tunnels, which I think they're either going to have to redesign the tunnels a little bit more, like the, just the way that it works right now. I mean, going through the tunnel could be pretty easy to automate. But once you come in and they go and they park and load up people and then you know back up and then go... It's, it's almost like an interstate. There's a lot of merging and having to pay attention to what all the other cars are doing. And just the state of full self-driving right now, it could do it, but it would be slower. And I don't think they could get the efficiency that they have with the human drivers yet. But I am sure they are definitely recording all of this data and they're going to run through neural nets and they'll build a driving model specifically for the boring tunnels. I think I think it'll be it'll be pretty cool. They actually had a separate display, and that's where they were showing, you know, the the times and everything. It was super convenient. Like, I'm I'm impressed. It was actually much quicker to take it from one side of the convention center to the other, as opposed to walking, as opposed to trying to take the the monorail or take an Uber or a bus, because they also have buses going everywhere. Yeah, the the bus rides are you got to count on at least a half an hour or more because it just takes so long for them to sit there and load up and then take off. And they're slow. They're not very fast. Anyways, I thought I would share at a minimum 
<laughs> the boring video. So this is my, my little boring CES video. I will be posting other videos on the electric car makers and kind of the trends here. Thank you guys so much for uh, subscribing. Like, share, um, subscribe. You can follow me. I'm at Walking Crow on Twitter, or you can email me, pox at twosmartguys.com. We'll see you guys again real soon. Thanks. Bye. So anybody who's knocking the boring tunnel, it's actually very quick. It's literally no way. Walk up and you get in, you're in the tunnel for a minute and you're out. It's actually very convenient. I've been riding the monorail. You gotta wait around for five minutes. And then it just takes forever to actually get there. And there's a lot of going through gates and up and down stairs. And this is pretty cool.